Hi, this is Darnell with YouTube channel D Grill giving a look at the iGrill app. When you first go in, it immediately asks for location permissions. And after you do that, you're able to go into the app. And when you go to the globe option on the left, on the left menu pane, you go in and it basically will tell you where your iGrill is set up but since I haven't connected mine yet, it won't show my location. But basically the app and I guess Weber will know exactly where you are because uh, you need to know where you are in the world. And Weber needs to know where you are in the world when you're grilling, I guess. But as you can see, it shows no products found when I click up top. So going back, you can see this is the front screen. It just shows you the different agro products so that it wants you to get one connected. You swipe to the right, you get this information here about the shop now. There's a share option. Once you click that, you get some options to share. I believe it may also ask for contact permissions for that. When you click on shop, you go here and you can basically buy things just like you were on the Weber website and go through and do your shopping through the iGrill app. When you click on timers, you can create timers for your cooking, which is pretty cool. I'm going to make a test timer here for one minute and just give it a name of test once I type test properly. And we'll come back in one minute and have, well, less than a minute, I'll check on it. And we'll see how that does. When it beeps, you won't actually hear it here, but there is a beep that occurs on the phone. You go into settings, you can choose Fahrenheit or Celsius for your temperature, your widget notification rate. You can adjust that if you want, up to 60 seconds. Home screen widget refresh rate, you can adjust that up to a minute. Other options on the left menu bar, going, going back in the timers, got about 20 some seconds left there. If you go to the next option, which is support, you can get support for your iGrill right there in the app. You can submit a ticket or make a call, send an email. And my timer there finished, you see the notification popped up. It also beeps, but you don't get to hear that. Once I clicked OK, that timer stopped and you can see the timer's dead there. It but it beeped a few times. If you click on about, you just basically get some basic information about Weber, of course. So it's all about Weber. and all the lovely types of Weber grills you can get. Next option on the left menu are the policies. And this is basically their usage policy, their assumption that children aren't going to use it, you know, things that they want to say for their legal purposes and legal protections. If you click close, it'll ask you if you're sure I just click uh, cancel here initially and up top when you click up top it'll show no no devices in the upper right until I get the, my iGrill connected. It was too cold today to go connecting the iGrill so sorry about that. And then after you close you click OK that's it. I hope you liked the video. If you did you can give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel. You can tell your friends about it and I hope everyone has good eating and a good time if you also get yourself an eye grill and start grilling.